They had the courage to fight for what they felt was right by challenging the Jim Crow laws and launching the Freedom Ride 75 years ago in Orange County. After being arrested, charged, and convicted, today four men had their sentences vacated. WRAL's Chelsea Donovan attended today's emotional ceremony. 75 years ago, this is where the group of black and white riders attempted to board a bus before they were forcefully removed and attacked by an angry mob. One thing that will not happen today is you will not hear arguments. Happiness filling a cramped Orange County courthouse, not customary for this place of law and order. Today's session is an opportunity for us to make amends publicly. April 9th, 1947, a group of 16 white and black men began the journey of reconciliation. The first freedom ride to challenge a Supreme Court law that mandated segregation on buses. Knowing that they were about to embark on a journey that would put them in the throes of hate, violence and possible death. As the riders attempted to board the bus right here in downtown Chapel Hill, several of them were forcefully removed and attacked by angry cab drivers. Four of the so-called freedom riders, Andrew Johnson, James Felmet, Bayard Rustin and Egal Rodinko, were arrested and charged with disorderly conduct for refusing to move to the front of the bus. As these men were unjustly punished for their actions. And they were sentenced to work on the chain game. Today, over 100 people gathered to see these sentences vacated. 75 years later, a judge, not even born when all of this happened, brought to tears. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> Today, I am uh, vacating these convictions, and I am dismissing these charges. The niece of Egal Rodinko, sitting where her uncle was convicted 75 years ago, proud of a man she called moral and righteous. He devoted his life to changing the world for the better, sometimes one person at a time. Last month, five district court judges marked the 75th anniversary of the arrests of Rustin and three other men by making a statement of public apology. Chelsea Donovan, WRAL News, Chapel Hill.